Welcome to Scale Model Kit Review. I'm Steve Sutton. Up next is the Blumen Voss H4137V2. This is a 172nd scale resin model kit from Pro Resin. It includes decals, photo etch, acetate instruments, and of course the model kit is resin itself. So let's open this up and have a look to see what's inside. Just as before, when you open it up, first thing you see is the uh, kit instructions. Inside the instructions are a set of decals. Just as before. Okay. The main difference with this is now that uh, this has a uh, this version of the dive bomber is a uh, radial type engine and not an inline engine like uh, the V5 we just previously reviewed. Let me take these parts out and I'll be right back. All right, I removed all the pieces from the box and we'll go ahead and get a closer look at it. Uh, of course, the fuselage is in two halves. It's uh, hollow on the, on, uh, on the inside. Um, you can see there is detail on the inside and fine recess detail on the outside of the fuselage. Uh, the wings, just like uh, same shape as the Stuka. This uh, was in competition to be the dive bomber against Junker's Stuka, and of course they lost. Um, just as before, horizontal stabilizers look really good. Vertical stabilizer looks well. Um, cockpit details, the seat, instrument panel, there's no detail on the instrument panel at all. Going back, you see it also gives us some bombs, landing gear pods, wheel ball pods, very fine detail there. And then now, instead of having the inline engine, this is the radial engine on this version, the version 2 of the Blumenbos. So, there's your propeller details. Included in the kit is also photo etch, which includes the instrument panel, rudder pedals, and seat belts. And on the other side is acetate, instrument panel, and windshield, because this is an open cockpit. And then uh, get a closer look at the decals. These aren't yellowed on this kit, so they, they look like they're going to be in pretty good, pretty good shape here. And of course, the uh, kit instructions. So, it, once again, it is a resin kit, kit, so you just can't use plastic cement to glue this together. You can use either five-minute epoxy or super glue. And it does take a, you know, intermediate to uh, advanced skill to put one of these together. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and happy modeling everyone.